Merry Christmas, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a little bit, as it always typically is. <clears throat> and I'm kind of, for this video, just going to address a bit of an issue I think I'm running into with my channel. It's not something that's bad. Like, I'm going to keep posting videos. for I'm having fun with the hobby, so no worries there. But today we do have a domination match. Uh, I am playing as the Beastman, my favorite faction, against the Dowie here, against my opponent. Oh, it looks like we have the names and everything up there. I'm not sure when that update went live. But my replay is actually showing me value, which is really fun. That's really nice. We got some gyrocopters coming in. A whole lot of long beards, it seems. Um, Belagar Iron Hammer, a couple of crossbows, miners with blasting charges, and slayers on the side. Big Dowie army coming in. I've got a pretty much a new favorite strategy with the Beastmen. I've been t using Kazrak a lot, which is a complete meme, I know. But I gotta say, him with a leadership core on these Tuscor chariots can actually be incredible fun. I'm having tons and tons of fun with that. I might make a video showcasing why I think that's really good in the future. But the big thing I picked, I think, here for the counter, at least against Dowie, is a Jabberslythe. I think Jabberslythes are incredibly good against um, dwarves. Now, if they bring cannons, this can be a little difficult, but so far, I, I was hiding him in the corner, no cannons, so we're good to go there. <clears throat> Regardless, Back to the issue with the channel. I'm running into the, an issue where I'm not finding um, good, I guess, replays, battle replays. I often will get on the ranked match, like a uh, lobby, essentially, and I'll run into a battle, and it'll either be a clean sweep, or it'll just be too fast, it'll be too easy. This battle's going to be a bit of an example for that. Sorry if anyone is a dwarf fan. Bit of a spoiler here, we do play very, very well into this dwarf player. As you can see, this Jabber Slight's gonna just get a beautiful charge. Absolutely nuts. I think Jabber Slight's are one of the best monsters in the game, specifically for their animations. That Quarreler unit went down to half HP. Beautiful charge, and you can't you can't hold them. Especially with the dwarves, they have no kind of mass to hold that Jabber Slight in place. It's just gonna wreak havoc upon the enemy. Now, I did lose that frontal engagement, at least off of all the infantry, so that's something going for my opponent. So it'll be a bit of a fight, but we'll keep the scrap in view here. Essentially, though, um, it's hard for me to get battle replays, and I have a full-time job during the day, so most of the time when tournaments are happening, I, I don't really have the availability to, to get on those tournaments. I can get it here and there, but I'm not actively trying to regardless, so another beautiful charge from the Jabber Scythe, I gotta say. Damage is just racking up. Regardless, um, I don't have as many replays as I would like, and it kind of slows down the video posting for this channel. Now, I'm thinking potentially what I start doing is just gravitating to a more tip and trick style uh, for the channel. Those have actually been pretty much getting the most amount of views on my channel to begin with. So that's been a tempting thought, and I think I will incorporate some of that. But the other thing I wanted to do was potentially give you guys the chance to post replays of your own. Now, they don't have to be incredibly high-level play, um, just closer fights or fights with some cool aspects. I have created a Discord channel. I created it a while back, but I did not feel like I was big enough, and frankly, still don't think the channel's big enough to really get a large influx of those replays. But I'm going to link that Discord and give whoever would like the opportunity to post some replays and I will cast them for you. I am not a big YouTuber, so it's not like you're gonna get tons of views, but maybe that actually helps you get over the initial, um, I don't know, cold feet of, of showing off the replays to begin with, because probably tons of people won't watch it anyway. Regardless, I think it could be a lot of fun to cast other replays. As you can also see, I love playing specific factions, and I think my channel's just going to have a ton of that on it. I will have tons of, like, Beastman replays if I don't find something separate. So, anyway, that's going to be the invitation there. I shall give a little bit more details after this battle, but as things are picking up, let me get a little bit more into the casting here. As you can see, this Jabber Scythe has been bouncing from target to target. Just tons of damage on these Corlers. He's pretty much done the damage to all of these units all by himself. Already just paid for himself, still about half HP. An absolute terror, and the beasts or the the dwarves literally have nothing that can pin him down. Slayers, though they're here, they're not fast enough to, to grab him, and so he can just stay away from the slayers and constantly run at the enemy and just get giant charges. I think cannons are definitely a play for the dwarves. I think you should bring uh, cannons as the dwarves, at least against 
many factions, specifically the Beastmen, I would say, because they have a lot of really strong monsters. Butcher's a Kalthman guard coming in here. They're going to get a ton of damage on that Peak Gate guard. But Kazarak himself is doing a bunch as well. He's hit a thousand damage value. I believe my Brace Shaman, yeah, routed for a minute, did come back. Bunch of units in the back here that I'm not paying attention to. But the Jabber Slythe is just such a hard counter against the Dwarves. The only answer I think the Dwarves have reliably is missiles, uh, specifically cannons, I would say. Looks like these Gyrocopters are, are pretty good, but Harpies can actually deal with Gyrocopters very, very well. Cannons just can sink enough damage to maybe get the Jabber Slythe off the field before it causes too much destruction. The thing is, is all of your infantry units, you don't have any kind of cavalry. You have no mass to pin this thing in place. So it will just go where it pleases. And it has such incredibly good charge animations. It's just going to get so much damage against these dwarf units. As you can see, it's already paid more than itself. It's going nuts. 2k value. And the battle, it is about to probably route here, though. Tons of damage going down. But the battle's going very heavily my way. Again, just illustrating the issue I'm running into. I am not finding the closest of replays. Ooh, a really nice blast on the Black Horns Ravagers there. I was not paying attention to this. That's good by my opponent. But he doesn't have enough mass. He's got a couple Slayers here, but they're basically all dead. Gores do not win against Slayers, but they do trade very effectively, I think. So I've kind of just flooded the field here with Gores, and then I'm using the Chariot characters, um, Magic, and these Butchers of Cavern Guard to kill anything armored in here. So that's going pretty darn well for me. I think I'm bringing in some Harpies over here. Okay, to route off the Corlers. They will probably come for these Gyrocopters as well very soon. Jabber Scythe finally routes off. 278 kills, 2300 damage value. Absolutely insane. This is a very, very good showing, I think, for the Jabber Scythe this game. Now, with the Bray Shaman, you know, sometimes I justify not bringing magic against the dwarves because of their magic resist. But in all honesty, Traitorkin is just an incredibly good spell against characters and infantry, which is the entire dwarf uh, roster, pretty much. So as you can see, that Bray Shaman has actually gotten tons of value. That's twice his value. He costs about 800 for me. 1600 value coming in, so magic still incredibly effective against dwarves. Kazrak, though, big surprise as well. He also has 1,600 damage value. Him on a Chariot. <clears throat> very, very good, I think, into Dwarves. He is a bit of a meme character. I think there are always going to be better characters than Kazrak. But I have been very much enjoying him. And so I've been bringing him and experimenting more with him. I think I'm getting a really solid build laid out for him pretty soon here. I might showcase that in the uh, weeks to come. Wargore as well, part of that leadership core. Only 1,000 damage value from him. I think he just hasn't been getting the better engagements. He's just been kind of running off these units here, like the PK guard. Don't want them coming back from route. And this battle's pretty much over. My opponent um, didn't stand too much of a chance. As you can see, that, as you can see, that Jabber Slythe did come back. Just routed off again. A little bit more damage value to its name. But <clears throat> it was a pretty fun one. I did lose, like, the, the damage value honestly wasn't too far off for majority of the game. Um, they're about to hit 10k here very soon. Oh, whenever it clicks. There we go. 10k damage value. So I'm only about 2,000 damage value ahead, which is significant. But at this point in the game, with this many points capped, like you'd think it would be a much bigger difference. So it's really not that bad. But for the most part, dom uh, domination mode, I just had everything taken, and it was very, very bad for my opponent. So fun replay. I did enjoy just showcasing at least the power of the Jabber Slythe into the dwarves there. But the purpose of this video is not just this replay. It's also to kind of let you guys know, I have a Discord now. Um, it's going to be empty. So if you join it, there will be basically no one there. But there will be a place for replay submissions. Uh, if you don't know how to get those replay submissions, feel free to ask me in that Discord. I can probably point uh, that out very quickly and efficiently. Kazrak, 2k value. Very, very nice. Jabber Slythe, 2.4k. Really good value on a lot of these units. Um... I've been enjoying a Centigor uh, Chariot Leadership Core uh, playstyle for quite a bit now, so having a lot of fun with that. My opponent definitely got some decent value on a few of these units, though it doesn't actually look like all these infantry units got like no value at all. I mean, that Corlar unit paid for itself. Let's see where the value came from. Slayers, not too bad. Brimstone guns, so the Gyrocopters definitely did a bit. But yeah, not too much impressive. Very spread out, regardless. Victor was me, so damage value is going to be more on my side. That was a fun replay. Either way, the 
Discord should either be in the description or a pinned comment below. Feel free to join and send me replays. I will probably cast it, since I don't think many people will be submitting replays at all. And if no one does, then that's fine, and I'll just keep posting videos on my own. Either way, I just wanted to make that an option to see if maybe this can help me increase my video count and maybe the quality of the videos so it doesn't feel like stomps either which way. So, regardless, thank you so much for watching, and I should have one more video to come out um, Christmas morning, and... Hopefully I'm cool with that one. I pulled that from a Turin stream. I was in the battle, but it was a, a 3v3, a real big, huge smash, and I don't, I don't think he's going to post it on his channel, so I'm going to sneakily pull that replay and cast it. Either way, that'll be here Christmas Day. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you all later.